Here we go with Match Game 75, production number 0587, take one. Get ready to match the star, Nick Godier, Brett Summer, Charles Nelson Riley, Melinda Fee, Richard Dawson, and Betty White as we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 75. And now here's the star of Match Game 75, Gene Rivers. Now, shall we? Are you all ready? Yes, yeah. sir. Splendid. You all look peachy. Oh, let's get on. Win some money. You're touching That's the fabric. Thank that you. Suit. Don't oh, do right. suit. Just that. win money. Sandy Smith and Katie Heinz over here. <laughs> this lady has won a total of five thousand six hundred dollars. How do you feel about that, Sandy? <laughs> terrific. You feel terrific? Terrific. Okay. And she's being challenged by Katie, who had her first round question and didn't do too well with it. <laughs> but she's still got a winning, adorable yeah. smile now, hasn't she? We'll give you your first round question in a moment or so, but right now, we want to give you this message. Here we are, ready to carry on. Middle of round one, here we go. This is all yours, Sandy. Listen carefully. Everybody plays. Okay. 200 years ago today... Oh, I hate this. ...the United States adopted, as its official symbol, the eagle. Last Thursday, the city of Burbank adopted as its official symbol, the blank. The city of Burbank adopted as its official symbol, the blank. Okay. You two are almost twinsies. Yes, we are. We should have. Black and white hounds tooth. That's black and white gingham check, isn't it? Yes, but you're he's adorable. More of a dog than I am. Yeah, he's a. <laughs> that's so much prettier on you than it was on Tom Kennedy. Yeah. <laughs> you are a mean rod. <laughs> Charles, what are you doing up there? Okay. All right, ready. Now, Sandy Smith. 200 years ago today, the United States adopted as its official symbol, the eagle. Last Thursday, the city of Burbank adopted as its official symbol, the blank. The dodo? Oh, wow. Where'd you get that one? <laughs> the dodo bird? Oh, uh, eagle bird. You were thinking in the bird category. I see. Well, perhaps we misled you with that. And Burbank, California, does that mean anything to you? Well, we'll find out right now, Dick. That's a bloody thing to me. Doesn't. Dodo, that's extinct, isn't it? Yes. Yes, I get it. But then so. <laughs> no, I didn't mean that, Burbank. Okay, I wasn't sure. Um, I chose as its official symbol the fly. You didn't get it either, did you? Well, there are a lot of tailors in this town. What do you want me to say? All right. Brent, what did you say? I was going to say the Goonie Bird, but I thought possibly I wasn't getting the point. I don't think I you did. <laughs> what did you say? I would parakeet. Nobody understands it so far, Charles. I'll bet. Tell us you understand us. <laughs> Burbank is a home of another minor network. Right. So it would be the Peacock. Right. Oh. Right. You've heard of beautiful downtown. Maybe we should have said beautiful downtown Burbank in the question. Would that have made a difference to you, Melinda Fee? Uh, no, it would have been the same thing. Uh, the Johnny Carson. The, the Johnny Carson. Yes. Well, you're getting close to the rare. peacock. Yes, right. Did you understand it, Richard? Well, I worked there a couple of years, you know, yeah. on Laugh-In. Right. Their official, uh, what is it, the official what? Uh, the, 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 the last Thursday city Burbank adopted as its official symbol, the... Uh, the official symbol is and always has been the cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. It's a very stirring thing. You ate in that restaurant across the road there, didn't yes, you? I right. see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> Betty White, you make a few enemies for us. <laughs> like, I, I mean, have, yes. Dawson has destroyed <laughs> half of them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I hope they don't bring back that show. <laughs> 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 never go for it. <laughs> what no, do you say? I, listen, I was going to say the peacock because that is the answer. That is the logical answer. Right. Even though Dodo is marvelous because it's extinct <laughs> and that, uh, that's very literate. But I chickened out. You chickened out. Okay. 
Okay. So, at the end of round one, we ain't got nothing, have we? <laughs> I got plenty of nothing, and nothing's plenty for me. Katie, what do you say? How about A again? How about A again? Sure. <laughs> it was good to you last time, Oh, huh? really good. Okay. Sally said... Oh, she did oh, no. She yeah, said... Yeah. <laughs> that customs agent is weird. How weird is he? When I opened my suitcase, he took out my clothes, then he blanked them. What the sweetheart? I'm the summer. A weird line. customs yes. agent. When I opened my suitcase, yes. he took yes. out my yes. clothes, yes. then he blanked them. Weird co- took out my clothes? I got it. <laughs> I think, I think that's hot. I called his office a couple days ago to find out how things are going. There was no... He was out to lunch. He never returned my call. Who are you talking about? <laughs> he was out of town. He oh, Alan, what's his name? Today. No, he was out to lunch. Who's He's he always married? out to lunch. What's your name? Yeah. Thank you. What are you seeing? Alan Luke. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good provider. All right, Charles. Who's he? He's writing. Not me. I don't know what he's doing up there. Charles, uh... Charles, dear. We're waiting. Ready. You are ready. Okay, Katie. He's ready. Sally said, that customs agent is weird. How weird is he? Thank you. (laughs) Thank you, thank you, thank you. When I opened my suitcase, he took out my clothes, (coughs) then he blanked them. He put them on. He put them on. Now that sweet little undergraduate... At the University of California, where? Cal Poly, San Luis Obispo. Cal Poly, wherever. <laughs> San Luis Obispo. Yeah, yeah, the big words as well. Cal Poly, unpronounceable. San Luis Obispo. She gave the perfect answer. That is perfect. Well, they have a lot of transvestites at Cal Poly. You know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, have you lost Burbank? Now we're losing Cal Poly? <laughs> Come on now, stop I did that. <laughs> the custom agent was weird. He took it out. And he wore them or well, donned them. Well, that's putting them on. Same thing. Same thing. Very good. Yeah. All right, Brett. Did I want to point it? out to you, she got the idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I hope you do. Well, sweetheart, you said that was a perfect answer. Certainly. What is the past tense of war? Where? No, ward. Ward. Oh, oh yes, you ward. That's two potatoes. <laughs> Hello, Charles. We did not lose Bur- uh, Burbank. We did not. Because he put them on, went to Burbank, and picked up a peacock. <laughs> <laughs> Charles, I apologize for hollering That's coming at you. out in the hardcover. It's a I children's story. I didn't story. know you were writing a I new gem. I don't know gem. what her answer is. You I don't know what her answer is. I a hunch, though. Yeah. Really and truly, yes. it's going to be the right answer. I don't know. You don't know. She hasn't had you a right one peak. since she's been on yes. the show. Right. <laughs> but I just have a good feeling. Well, now listen, she I is. was told there's no right or wrong on this show. It's That's just right. Well, there wasn't of your until you started to play. Express yourself, <laughs> Melinda, and I'm going my to darling. express myself. He, he kissed, kissed the clothes. Let me level. Let me level a with you. Lot of work yes. for you somewhere, honey. <laughs> <laughs> now let me level with you. There is a right and wrong answer. <laughs> now you've managed to find the wrong every time. <laughs> Now let's really work hard and find a right end. <laughs> Cut that out. He wore them. He wore them. <laughs> yes. No, that was a weirdo. That was a real weirdo that kissed those clothes. Now, hello, Betty. Hello, uh, Jeep. Speaking of clothes kissers. Yes. <laughs> no, is that KK or no, CC? Uh, it's, it's, uh, anything All right. you say. He put them on them. He put oh. them on them. <laughs> so that's five for you. And you got your work cut out for you, but first we've got this, especially for you. All right, here we go now. Round two is the last chance for Sandy Smith. You got a match five to stay in the game, six to win. The restaurant manager said to the customer, I'll tell you why I'm mad. We don't mind when someone walks off with a menu or a plate, but you just tried to leave with one of our blanks under your coat. That's why I'm mad. I got it. This one I know is absolutely correct. Terrific. (laughs) (laughs) Splendid answer. We all finished. (laughs) There's a high, just write it out and put it away. (laughs) 
She's well, hiding. Yeah. We're all through. Okay, here we go. Sandy oh, Smith. Girl. The restaurant manager said to the customer, I'll tell you why I'm mad. We don't mind when someone walks off with a menu or a plate, but you just tried to leave with one of our blanks under your coat. One of our waitresses? Waitresses. Five stolen waitresses tie, six stolen waitresses win. Sandy, I like you a lot. I, waitress, how do you get a waitress under your coat that just doesn't make any sense? Only a dummy would say waitresses. I said waitresses. You said that. I have one waitress. Brett, it's your turn, my dear. I think that's one of the most stunning answers we've had all week long. I said waitresses. Waitresses. <laughs> CNR. Waitresses. That's right. That's three. Five to three is the score. If you get all of these as waitresses, you win the game. Now, here's M Miss Melinda Fee. If she doesn't match this time, she no, goes back to the invisible time. man. I really tried, Sandy. I really right. did. And I was as close as I could be at this moment in my life. I said, waiter. That's okay. That's okay. A close examination will lead any fool to the conclusion that a waiter is not a waitress. Well, listen. He didn't know that until he got him out of the restaurant. Gee, listen. He might have had hair like me. How do you know? This is not a, a surgical procedure, friends. But it's a this is a restaurant. Yes. He went like this. Ah! <laughs> Okay, you got to match the two remaining ones to achieve a tie. Let's see what we get here, Richard. Never come to this restaurant again. I said, waiter. Waiter. So that means Katie Heights wins the game. Waiter. Now, you stand by for a moment or so. Sandy Smith is going to leave us now, but she's going to leave a pretty rich lady here. She's yeah. got five thousand six hundred dollars. Yeah. Our best wishes. It was a pleasure, Sandy. Goodbye, my dear. Bye, darling. How do you feel? Really good. Good. Okay. Are you a native Californian? Yes, I am. You are. All right. Are you ready to play this? Sure am. Well, here we go. Katie, we polled a recent studio audience, and we got their best response to this. Blank buns. <laughs> All right. The answer they gave most often is worth $500 if you match it. Two fifty and a hundred dollars. Whom do you call on over here? How about Richard? Hot dog buns. Hot dog buns. Um, Dick. Hot cross buns. Hot cross buns. You too. Um, Brett. Brett. What about big buns? <laughs> big buns. <laughs> Only soit qui mal les pense, or whatever that means. What do you say? You got hot cross buns, you got hot dog buns, and you got big buns. <laughs> <laughs> I with big what buns, honey. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were on the tight shot anyway. What the hell? Uh, yes. Hot dog buns. You want hot dog buns? Uh, yeah. You sure? Hot dog sure. buns? Okay. okay. Hot dog buns. Hot dog buns. That's the one Richard gave you. Let's find out if we got hot dog buns up there. Earl, you got any hot dog buns under the $100 response? You got them? May I see your hot dog buns? Hot dog buns. Congratulations, you got hot dog buns. That's better than nothing. That's better than nothing, right. You said hamburger buns? That's English. You know, I don't know your hot buns. Oh, no, they're very, very common in America. You have those here? Oh, yes, we do. Why have I never had them here? Hot cross buns. Oh, we have them all the time. Don't you have hot cross buns all the time? Here they do in our Who asked you? What do you know anyway? They have a hamburger bun, they put a cross on it. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. Now, let's see, what do you think is under the 250? Son of hot dog. Uh, <laughs> Big bun. Sign it, Earl. Yeah. Hamburger bun. I told you. That's what we Betty White had hamburger buns on it. You think honey buns? Oh, yeah. What a good Honey buns, answer. yeah. Hot crab. All right, Earl, let's see it. Hot crab. Hot crab. Anyway, that was a hard one. You got two hundred dollars now, Katie. You're going to play for ten times a hundred or one thousand. You got to match one celebrity head to head. Exactly, which one will it be? Richard. Okay, Richard. Okay. Face me. Thank you. Now here we go. 
This one's worth a thousand. Goes like this. Blank coach. Blank coach. C O A C H. Okay, he's finished. Now, Katie, we need a response from you which you think will match his. What do you say to that blank coach? Football. Football coach. Now, wait a minute. It's a football season. They're playing the game, and it's a big popular American sport in colleges, and she's a college kid. So, she says, football coach going to match her for $1,000. What do you say? Well, I'm an actor, so I said stage. Yeah! Stage. Oh, yeah. Did you think of that, Katie? Stage coach. Didn't That's you? That's good. That uh, works the two West? ways. Sure. Stage coach, yes, and stage coach. Okay, now, Katie, you got the $200. You're going to meet another player in a moment or so, but right now, we got to meet this message of interest to one and all as we stand here on this. Now, we're ready to carry on. Are you ready to carry on? Okay, let's meet Mike Lurie. Hi. How are you, Mike? I'm fine, thank you. Where are you from and all that? I'm... I'm from the Los Angeles area. Yeah. I'm a happy person, very much in love with my wife. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, hold on. Today. <laughs> oh, Mike, as, as I go down life's path, yes. day by day, I don't meet many people who say they are happy persons. What is exactly does that mean? Well, I'm having a good time. You are? I generally smile, or try yeah. to smile. Yeah. I'm in love with my wife. Yeah. I've got two great children. Uh-huh. And otherwise, I'm a happy person. Isn't that terrific? <laughs> oh, I, I don't believe it. Marvelous. Very good. Okay, good luck to you, Mike. Thank you. I ask you to make a selection. B, please. B it is. Leave the stand. Go. You disgust me. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is for the happy person. We have a TV guide listing for you, All Mike. All my favorites. It says, Sunday night, NBC, Colombo. This week, the crime does not get solved because Colombo spends the whole 90 minutes blanking his raincoat. <laughs> <laughs> Just write down your second choice. <laughs> Spends a whole 90 minutes blanking his raincoat. Whenever my first thought was the right one, I suppose. I will come up and look over your shoulder, Brett. I'm looking over. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that grab That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. That? First round questions are tough. They're right. I got it. I, I got okay. it. I understand it. <laughs> uh, I'm the only one who has to understand it. Everybody ready? We come over here to Mike Lurie. TV guy listing. NBC. Sunday night, Colombo. This week, the crime does not get solved because Colombo spends the whole 90 minutes blanking his raincoat. Stuck in his raincoat. And it's a whole 90 minutes no. stuck okay. in his raincoat. Or trying to get it off. Trying to get it off. Yeah. Stuck in his sure raincoat. You're a happy Listen, person to... you're going to keep on smiling, aren't you? No yes. matter what happens yeah. here, right? Right. Okay. What the hell do you have to be happy about with an answer like that? <laughs> <laughs> but he's not so happy right now. <laughs> All right, Dick. I, I don't think I'm going to add to your joy here because I said soiling his raincoat. Soiling his raincoat. That makes yeah. sense to me. All right. Brett, what do you say? Mike, well, Michael looks just like a little pixie, doesn't he? He's yes, he does. Pixie. Anyway, I, he, 45 minutes uh, soiling his raincoat. The next 45 minutes he spent washing it. Washing. He was in the laundromat the whole time. Charles? I'm a happy person too, Gene. <laughs> yes. I said cleaning. Cleaning. Now, we come to the lady from The Invisible Man, who is visiting us this week. What do you say, Melinda Fee? Uh, I was happy before, but I just said looking for. Looking for. That's right. He can't solve the crime unless he's got it. his raincoat. That's it. It's his lucky talisman. Very good answer. Yes. Really? All right, Richard, you're on. Is everybody happy? Is everybody happy? I said cleaning my... Cleaning that dirty old raincoat. That's a trademark. Now, Betty. It is so good to meet a happy person that yes, I do not want us to bring him down. Play hard, but play clean. He was washing his raincoat. Okay. So, Mike, that's what it is. Smile, Mike. Smile, Mike. Smile, Mike. boy. Okay. Now, we will continue to carry on here you said you're after happy. we do a little bit of this for you. 
All right. Uh, we don't have uh, enough time to play another whole round here, so we're going to have to stop right at this point and look forward to seeing both of you. May we see your pearly whites? Thank you. Atta boy, Mike. Keep smiling in there. I will. What's your theme song? You have a theme song? No, I really don't. You don't, yeah. With a smile on my face and a melody in my heart. Now, let's see. Yeah, it's all over. I just want to make sure that I've paid my dues here. Dick Gaudier, yes, the star yes. of Robin Hood. Yes. yes, he is Robin well, Hood. When things were rotten. When things oh, were rotten. Oh, when things were rotten. That's when right. Things when rotten. things were rotten. Yeah. And uh, tell Mel uh, Brooks that he's got to come here. Mel, okay, all right. He's got to I come will. here because he used to play the old match game and he was very good at it. And uh, he might be good at this. You never and know. And he'll bring Annie. <laughs> and this lady, uh, this sweet, adorable lady. Hey, listen, are you a happy person? Sure. You are? Yeah. You see the nice smile on her face? You can see her, of course, on The Invisible Man and uh, the Mary Tyler Moore Show. I guess all the dues are paid now. Yes? Newberries? The Newberries, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, Newberries, yes. And this is Gene Rayburn for Match Game 75, asking you to join us next time. Thank you and good bye. Is everybody happy? <laughs> This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game 75, a Mark Goodson, Bill Tubman production. Stay tuned for Tattletales next over most of the CBS stations.